Are all carbon-containing compounds organic? If you're curious about whether all compounds that contain carbon are considered organic, you're about to get some clarity. Let's break it down step by step. First, let's define what an organic compound is. Generally, an organic compound is a chemical compound that contains carbon atoms covalently bound to other atoms, especially hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. For example, hydrocarbons like methane, CH4, and ethane, C2H6, are classic examples of organic compounds because they contain carbon-hydrogen and carbon-carbon bonds. However, not all carbon-containing compounds fit into this category. There are some exceptions that might surprise you. For instance, carbon dioxide, CO2, and carbonates like calcium carbonate, CaCO3, contain carbon, but they are not considered organic compounds. This is because they do not have the characteristic carbon-hydrogen or carbon-carbon bonds that define organic compounds. Another example is cyanide compounds, such as hydrogen cyanide, HCN, and the cyanide ion, CN. Despite containing carbon, these compounds are typically classified as inorganic due to their chemical structure and properties. Additionally, compounds like carbon tetrachloride, CCL4, and chloroformic acid, ClCOH, also contain carbon but lack the carbon-hydrogen or carbon-carbon bonds, so they are not classified as organic. So, what makes a compound organic? It's the presence of carbon atoms covalently bound to other atoms, particularly hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, and the specific types of bonds between these atoms. If a compound lacks these characteristics, even if it contains carbon, it is not considered organic. In summary, while many carbon-containing compounds are organic, not all of them are. The key is in the type of bonds and the elements involved, not just the presence of carbon itself.